Well, happy video day, guys, and guess what? Today's going to be a collab video. I'm super excited to be collaborating with Katie Marie here on YouTube, and Katie was the first person I ever did a video collab with, so I'm super excited that she reached out to me to do this collab because this was a fantastic idea. This was such a great idea. Why didn't you guys hear about this collab? Because this is this is fun. But if you guys are my subscribers and you guys want to check out somebody's channel who is really, really fun, it's really, really cool eye makeup looks. I'm sure if a lot of you guys probably follow her because like I said, one of my first collabs was with her. But if you haven't, I'm going to go ahead and link her channel and everything down below so you guys can check her out. And if you guys are from her channel and you guys don't know who I am, Hi, I'm Christina Brooke, and usually on this channel what I do is talk about makeup and I also throw in some fashion, some fun fashion ideas here and there. So if you guys like any of those things and you guys want to join the channel, I would love it if right now you would go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you guys want to see some more fun content, I do create a lot of stuff over on Instagram. So if you guys follow me at Christina Brooke Beauty, I would love to see you there. But either way, We've got a really fun video ahead and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it in just a few seconds. So let's go ahead and get into the video right now. So for this collab, Katie came up with this really fun idea. Now she found somebody on Instagram called Arlie Lynette and she has an Instagram profile that I'll go ahead and link down below. And what she would do is she would get ideas based off of different things to create palettes. So like an example, like a Wonder Woman, she would get an image of Wonder Woman and then she'd create a palette that she thinks would be good with Wonder Woman and so forth. So she has a bunch of different palettes if you guys wanna check it out. Imagined herself and she like created on Photoshop or whatever image program she would use and she would kind of create what she would think this palette would look like. So when Katie told me she wanted to do this, I was super excited and I know that I think on Katie's channel she's going to use one of our Lily Nett's designs, at least that's the last time we spoke, so I think that that's what she's going to do, but I really wanted to do my own. <laughs> I really wanted to do my own. So I asked Katie, can I do my own? Do you mind? I really want to do my own because the part that's really exciting to me is actually doing my own, so I really wanted to do it. So she said, yeah, totally do it. And I'm like, yes. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a palette on Photoshop based off of an image, but then I'm going to find those colors in my collection and I'm going to create this eye look that you guys are looking at right now based off of the colors that I selected that I thought were going to be great around that image. So this is a really fun video idea. Like to me, this is like, I, I, maybe I'm geeking out because I studied architecture and this is like stuff that we would do. Like if we had a project and we had to come up with a concept, we would go and like find imagery and then we would create things around the imagery. So to me, this is like, I don't know. I'm a dork. So the first thing I had to do is think of what's going to be the concept of this palette idea. Like, wh where am I going to get this image? Like, what is going to, what is it going to be around? And honestly, guys, the only thing that keeps coming to my mind is New York. New York is the only thing I keep thinking about. And I know it's because of everything that's happening right now. And I just keep thinking about New York. It's the only thing in my mind. So I decided to look through some images of New York City and see if I can come up with a palette that is a happy, hopeful palette. I didn't want the dark part of New York. I wanted to bring happiness and joy to this palette as a, I don't know, like a hopeful thought of what is to come of hope. When I was looking through the different images, I saw a bunch of different images of New York that were really interesting, but everything was very grayscale, very like gloomy, and I know that that's kind of like, you know, the architecture of everything, but I found this beautiful image online. I wish I knew who the photographer was. If I find out who it was, I'll put it in the description box, but I saw this gorgeous image online, and it, and it was kind of like a sunrise over New York or a sunset, I'm not sure which one it was, but it was one of the two. And you can see all these beautiful colors coming. It, I saw these yellow tones in there where yellow is supposed to be like a peaceful color. And I, I just saw these tones in there and I was like, this, this is my concept, I see it in this photo. So I pulled that photo. So that's the photo that the entire palette's gonna be designed around. So after I got that picture, I was like, this is the picture of New York I wanna work with. What I did was I brought it into Photoshop and I started to create my palette. So the final palette ended up looking like this. So this is a palette I created on Photoshop and I actually even played with the textures to show you guys the ones that look like they're supposed to have like metallic -y tones and I'm such a geek. This was so much fun. But yeah, so this is what it looked like. I love this palette. 
it's just a happy palette, but it still has a little bit of those grays in there that remind me so much of the city. So, so after I created this idea in Photoshop, so now the next thing is how do you bring this to life? I had to go through so many palettes to bring this to life. I do have it swatched right here on my arm, so I did find all the colors. And I'm gonna show you guys in daylight. These colors are gonna look a lot brighter with these lights I have right here, but in the daylight, you guys will see the actual colors. And I love the color story. I think it came out really cool, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So I had to jump into so many palettes. Oh my goodness. I couldn't just like have a concept that had like two palettes. I had to have a concept that had like 50 palettes. So I'm going to show you all the palettes I jumped into for these 10 colors. And I feel like I had to jump into 10 palettes for the 10 colors. So, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how I created this eye look. So there's a few parts to this video. So the first color I jumped into the Rustic Glam from Dominique Cosmetics. And I jumped into this color called Free Spirit. So Free Spirit is the first color. I feel like this is the kind of tone that I was looking for. I was looking for a creamish white, but I didn't want it to be too white. I wanted it to have a little bit of, I wanted it to have a little edge to it, a little bit more cream color. Cause that's just like the color that I would see in my mind when I thought of New York. So I did think I found like the color exact in Dominique Cosmetic that I wanted. So for the next color for the blue, I wanted a dark navy. Didn't want it to be like this light little blue. I wanted a dark navy, a real blue. I found it inside of the Laura Geller um, Iconic New York palette, which is actually funny. So it's this color right here, this really dark deep blue was the color that I was looking for and I feel like I found the exact tone that I wanted in that palette. So I was already super stoked to get two colors that were pretty close. So the next one I did want to put like a green in here. I really love the mint green colors but I wanted it to be metallic because I just feel like a metallic mint green just really adds up to the lid. I found it inside the Emerald Obsessions from Huda Beauty and it's this gorgeous mint color. It's the color I have all over my lids. Obsessed with it. Love it. And then the next color I had a harder time with. So for the next color, I really was looking through my collection to see if I could find this color and I really couldn't. So what I was able to do is I went into Natasha Denona's Sunrise palette and I jumped into this color called Jasper, but it was too orange. So I added a little bit of clove into it and clove and Jasper mixed together. Give me a little bit of this burgundy orange color that I created here and I really like this color. I wanted to use this color but because this eye look would not have gone with it, I couldn't use it but I really wanted to use that color. So whatever. This is the route that I went. So then the next color I was super excited for too because I remembered that Makeup Geek actually had a color that I'm, I love and it's called Chickadee. So this color Chickadee, this is this is like the color that I picked here. Like it's almost like the same color. So I was like yay I have that one. Yay. So the next color I had a hard time finding. I don't think I have too many color palettes that have like this kind of light blue that's not like super blue. So what I wanted was something that's in between these two colors from ColourPop. So this is the My Little Pony palette. So what I did was I jumped into this deeper blue and added a little bit of the lighter blue on top. Mixed together, they're starting to create the color that's in my mind that I felt like this metallic blue had to be. And I ended up liking it. I thought it cute. And this one is kind of like where I'm thinking like, you know, skyscrapers and stuff. So I really wanted to add a gray. So I got Clean Slate. This color, I love it from Makeup Geek. And I don't know, it reminds me a lot of like that gray skyscraper kind of look that I really wanted. And I would love to combine like the gray and I think the gray with the pink and a little bit of that dark, I don't know, there's a bunch of colors here that I think would look really cool together. Um, but then for the next one, um, when I was looking at this imagery, I noticed that there was like a little bit like this yellow, but it was like a faint yellow. So I didn't want to make like a real yellow. So what I did was I remember inside of the Viseart Paris edit, there was this beautiful almost white tone up here that when it shifts, it shifts like a yellow. And that's kind of what I was thinking. I wanted a little bit more yellow, so I jumped into the dark edit from Viseart and just mixed them together. And I got like that real baby faint yellow that had a shift, which I was kind of like imagining in this palette. And I love it. It's what I have in the inner corner. I think it looks really pretty when they're mixed together. I really like that color. So for the next color, I wanted a peachy pink, but I wanted it actually to go more pink, which is funny because you guys know that I'm not a huge like pink pink person, but this type of pink I do like. And this is one of my favorite colors from ColourPop actually. So this is called Lay Low. So Lay Low is like a peach that leans more pink. 
and I was happy to be able to find something that kind of reminded me of what I was looking for. I feel like in this palette imagery, it might be a little bit darker than I wanted. Maybe a little bit lighter would have been more my tone, and I like this one. So then we're down to one last color, and the last, last, last color, I was looking for this like perfect blender shade. You can kind of like mix it with a lot of these different colors and it'll work with a lot of them. And I found it inside the Rustic Glam. So I actually got two colors out of Rustic Glam, right? Did I get another one? Yeah, I got two colors out of Rustic Glam. I got it out of this color right here called Fringe. Yeah, Fringe was like that perfect tone was exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something that would mix with every single one of these. So you can use it as a base color for it any of the looks. So if you wanted to go to the blue green route, you can use it. If you wanted to go more like the sunset route, you can use it. And yeah, that was all the colors. And that's how I created this palette. And honestly, guys, I really like because I feel like there is a variation of colors here. You can go like the more warm tones here. You can get like the warm tone colors and do like a sunrise type of eye, a sunset type of eye. Or you can go like the grayscale and you could do more of those cool tone colors, grabbing some of these blues with the grays and do more of like a gray looking eye. Or you can be daring and mix the cool tone with the warm tone, which sometimes is what I like to do because I like doing that. And I honestly, I don't know, I'm happy. I kind of really like this palette. So those are the colors that I pulled. That's how I was able to make my palette come to life and I like my palette. But anyways, now I'm gonna show you guys how I created this look. So we're gonna get into that right now. So part of this was to create the eye look and I started doing my eyes. So um, I started doing this eye, which is good because this eye has nothing. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what I was doing. So basically it's getting the colors that you created into your palette and putting it into an eye look. So that's what I'm doing and I actually already started. So yeah, Christina, you're you're, you're on the ball here, girl. Okay, so the first color that I jumped into was Chickadee from Makeup Geek. And I'm just jumping into it with a small brush here. This is the E38 from Sigma. And I'm putting that all over the upper crease. So if you guys can see, I already kind of have it on this side. So what I'm doing is kind of getting as close as I can to the eyebrow. So if you guys have never seen one of my tutorials, usually what I say is I like to bring it as close as I can to the eyebrow because my eyelids are kind of small. I don't have like one of those big eyelids that have so much space to work with. So in order for me to be able to show off eyeshadow, I gotta get pretty close to the eyebrow. So I'm just gonna blend this color in. So this is that chickadee color. So yeah, it's on this side already. So then what I wanted to do is I wanted to play with a little bit of the blues because I'm not a blue person, but this kind of palette that I was creating needed blue. So when I grabbed this navy, I thought that the navy and this orangey color could have like a really nice contrast. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna add it like a V to the outer edge. So I just kind of stamp it. This is my Sigma E25. And I always use this for V work. So I just go like this. And then after I create that V, I just kind of like taper it back in. Circular motions kind of blending in the shadow. And I don't always put too much product on my brushes. I like to kind of like work them, you know? So that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna kind of work it. Work it. Okay, so now that my lids are kind of like caught up with each other, like they're kind of on the same page now, what I wanted to do was I wanna grab this color right here, which is that like green color. And that's the color I wanna put all over like the lid and it's gonna blend into the blue. So I kinda like want it to do like a gradient. So I'm gonna start in the inner portion and I'm gonna just like kinda like dab it over on top of this blue. Pick the worst finger to put this on. So there we go. So you see how like the green kind of like gradient into the blue a little bit. So it's not like super blue. So now what I do is I just gonna blend out those edges a little bit and kind of like clean everything up. And then we're gonna work a little bit on that lower lash line. So what I'm gonna do is jump right back into this chickadee color that I used for the top. I'm gonna use it one more time on the lower lash line and I'm kind of like gonna smoke it out a little bit, add a little bit of the blue and then a little bit of the green. And I think we'll be good. So we're just gonna add this like so.
Okay, so you see how I kind of added it to the lower lash line, but I brought it down a little bit. I did that on purpose because I kind of want it to show. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that blue again, and that's going to be like my liner color. I'm just going to kind of like tight line the lower lash line with it. So with this pencil brush, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a little bit more of that blue, this one here. I'm going to like kind of like put it right here at the edges just to deepen up the edge just a little bit. I just want a little bit more definition in there, but nothing exaggerated, you know, because I already have the blend going. So I just want to like deepen out right here. So you can kind of see like there's a difference, like a gradient that the blue is getting a little darker and then it's going into the green, you know. Now I'm just going to smoke a little bit of that lower lash line out. So I don't put any more product on here, but using this, this is a Wayne Goss 27S, love this brush. If you kind of just like blend a little bit, that line that you did on the lower lash line, I like to have it like a little bit smoky. Like I don't like it to look like a sharp line. So I just go like this with my pencil brush and I kind of like blend it a little bit, you know, give it a little bit of a softer line. So it kind of looks like, you know, like it's a little bit diffused and not so strong. Now I feel like I just want to add a little bit more of this green, really cool metallic green. This one right here from the Huda palette. I just want to add it on the lower lash line, like right here, right here, like deep, 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 deep. To kind of just add that little pizzazz that I'm missing, like in the center, I had this color that I kind of created. So I have to jump into this color right here and a little bit of this yellow to make the color that I want. I'm just gonna pop that right here in the inner corner. It'll just give it like a little bit of sheen and a little shift. That's cool. Do you guys see that shift? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it in person. So that looks pretty neat. Ooh, I'm really liking this. So of course, an eye look is never complete until you have mascara on. I also don't have bronzer on. I don't have lipstick on. So nothing looks complete until you get those things done. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. I don't wear fake lashes, so mascara is where it's gonna be at. So let me go ahead and do that and you guys will see the final result right now. And there we go. This is the final result. Um, I just went ahead and bronzed up my face with my Kali contour. I put on this lipstick right here from Maybelline. This is the Toasted Taupe one that I talked to you guys about in my favorites video. If you guys haven't seen that one, you should check it out after this one because this is the lipstick I was telling you guys about. And yeah, so this is the final look. So I have to say guys, I am thrilled. I actually really like the way that this came out. And you know, when you're kind of like creating these kind of palettes and trying to get ideas of what you want color stories to look like. You really don't know at the end of the day, like when you apply it, if the colors are really gonna work. You get an idea that they might, but when you start to play with them is when you really start to see, do they work or do they not? Some of them don't. I'm one of those people who loves to play with color. I'm not always putting color on my lids, but for the most part, when it comes to just colors, I just love the way so many different colors really could work so well together. I am fascinated by the way that colors can work. And to be honest, guys, I wish I could do another look because I almost feel like right here, these little tones right here with the grays would probably create like a really cool look. I had a really fun time doing this collaboration. I think that this was a really, 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 really fun idea. I actually would love to do this again and, you know, create another palette and find them in my collection. I really think that this was a really fun, it's something that like I would love to do on the channel just because I feel like this is like, this is in my realm. You know what I mean? This is stuff that I like to do. So thank you so much, Katie, for wanting to do this with me. This was a really, really, really fun, fun, fun collab. I honestly loved it. Also, Arlie Lynette, who is the person who created this idea that Katie found. I think that this is really, really great. I would love to continue doing this on my channel. This was really, really fun. Let me know down below if you guys liked it. If you guys did, maybe I'll do another one one day because this was fun. I liked it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new and you guys are new subscribers, thank you so much for joining the channel. And I've got a lot of content for you guys to catch up on. So binge watch away. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.